I don't know that all this was necessary. Who is this guy? I honestly don't think it was all necessary. You're going to get one. Yeah, no time for one more play. What the referee screwed us. The brother screwed us. I'm upset, but the brother screwed us. At least they fought back and tried. Yeah, you, 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 you literally the screwed us. The brother screwed us. Yeah, we had one more opportunity for one more play. Dallas still stinks. It's all a mess over here. Y'all might do it. Kick dick back here and breaking news, breaking news. We've got Eagles breaking news happening right now. Uh, what is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, home for lunch. I didn't have time to edit another video today, so I figured I would just come live. Uh, what is happening, everybody? Um, Bleeding Kelly Green is here. Barron's here. Jerry, Andrew, Fisty, Jeff, Eagles. Um, Leon Banks, what's going on, buddy? Jadis, what's up? John Jones, what's up? True Eagles, Tone, what's going on? Forever, Twits, what's happening? Uh, some black karate ninja, what is going on? Um, what is happening, everybody? Thank you guys so much for being here. Let's jump right into it. So we got a little Eagles breaking news happening right now. Uh, Adam Schefter's reporting. Justin, Eagles left tackle. Jordan Mulata has reached an agreement on a three-year $66 million extension that includes $48 million guaranteed, a $20 million signing bonus per source. The deal ties Mulata to the Eagles through 2028. The $22 million per year average puts him behind only Laramie Tunsil, Trent Williams, and Andrew Thomas amongst the highest NFL-paid offensive linemen. So the Eagles sign... Jordan Mulata to an extension after signing Avante Maddox earlier today to a um, a one-year deal. And obviously, you know, you got to tie up your young guys, tie them up. Left tackle, of course, you want to tie him up. So I absolutely love this move. I think it's a great move by the Eagles. And I really hope that this is leading to the next big extension of Devontae Smith. So, I, I mean, I can't go wrong with this. Uh, those are kind of my thoughts. Now, what do you guys think? Toxic, what's going on? D'Angelo, what's up, Philly? What's happening? Let me get my little, where's my little scroll banner thing? There we go. There we go. It's been it's been a minute since we streamed. Uh, Texas Eagles, what's going on, man? Don't forget Maddox, too. Yeah, well, I, I did a video this morning on Maddox before I went to work. I, I edited as fast as I could at work because uh, it was really, really busy. And then, um, and then... This news broke, and I was like, there's no way. I have a bunch of stuff going on this afternoon, so I was there's no way I could edit it. So I figured I have an hour for lunch. I might as well come home and just do a live. So that's what I'm doing. Big Mike, what's going on, man? Uh, Harley says, much love for from Oregon. Going to be a wild year. Let's go draft. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to save some cap money. I don't know. I don't know what it is exactly yet. They They haven't really showed us. Uh, but I mean, I think it's a good, it's a good, you got to get him tied up. You've got a lot of money under the cap. Um, the Eagles obviously are, are trying to get young players and I'm okay with that. So I, I think this is uh, a great signing. Now, the question is, what are they going to do in the draft? Because I'm beginning to think this team's going offensive line in, in the draft, you know, uh, South Jersey, what's going on? Yelsiz did too too much. I don't know what he did. How he's smart getting these guys at a cheap price now. Agreed, agreed. Overpay. You always you'll say that everybody laughs every, every time somebody gets like, oh, you overpaid, you overpaid. But by next year, you're gonna be going, oh my god, it's a, it's a bargain. Overpaying is being having two million dollars in cap space, paying Dak Prescott fifty nine million dollars, and not being able to do anything about it. Daniel, what's going on, man? Jordan appears to have plateaued. 
So, so you're saying um, you wouldn't have extended him? You'd have let him walk? So you see the rumors on Reddick was supposedly sack chasing. Yeah, I, you know, I, I'm very skeptical of rumors that come out after the guy goes. It's like they have to justify why they traded him or got rid of him. Reddick was sack chasing, then let him chase sacks. So what? I I have no problem with it. I mean, that's what they say about Micah Parsons right now. Did you guys? I don't know if you've listened, but that's what exactly they're saying about Parsons. Philly, did you see the rumors of Reddick? Oh, I read that one. Yeah, Philly five hundred. We should draft a wide receiver in the first round. He will have three very good years. Wide receivers make the offensive. Yeah, listen, I I think that's an interesting idea, especially if eventually he's going to replace AJ Brown. I'm I'm not opposed to it at all. You know. Yo, that was you twits to start the stills. Yeah, was that you twits? Did you start all that crap with Mark Holmes? Did you start this? Holmes, he's a guy that sits in his mom's panties. <laughs> he sits in his mom's panties. Dude, I'm going to have so much fun with that stuff. Uh, they're gearing up for the draft. After that, we could fill a roster with cap space. Smith will get his new. Yeah, well, and you got an extra year to get Smith done. But when you see, like, you know, um, Justin Jefferson and all these other guys, what they're going to get paid, if you could do it before them, do it, you know? Twitch, you started all that, man. Yo, Philly, you, you need to be like Mark Holmes and do a video and two from work. Oh, my work wouldn't let me. I don't work at home, you know? I, I don't work at home. Mark works, I guess, at home by himself in his garage. I I can't do it. There's no way. Say Boogie, thank you for Super Chat, my man. First one of the day. Thank you so much, man. And make sure you guys hit that like button. Let's make this lunch period worth it for me, man. If I can, if I can do good on these, I'm going to start trying to do these every day. Seriously, I'm, I'm trying to work it out with work. Uh, Zay Boy, thank you, man, for Super Chat. He goes, could the departure of Reddick have to do with extending our star players? I think, think about it. If you let Hassan go so that you could keep the peace around Jalen Hurts for years to come, Smitty next. I mean, I, I guess. The, the thing is, is, is he was, he only had one year left on his contract. So he would have left anyways, and, and you would have had all that money. What, what I don't understand is if he has one year left on the contract, why not just keep him instead of getting a pick in 2026? Paul's a sack chasing, yes. I'd rather take Brock Bowers than a third wide receiver in round one. Man, I tell you what, I would not mind Brock Bowers. And and I, 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 I don't know. See, I kind of was hoping the Eagles would draft a cornerback. But I think after the Avante Maddox situation, like, after they signed him, I don't think that they're going to go cornerback in round one. I really don't. So that leaves me two options, offensive line or defensive line. I mean, that's that's the only way I kind of see it. But if you want to do something like tight end, I'm all for it. If you want to do like um, – if you want to do like, you know, wide receiver, I'm all for it if it's the best player available. I'd be able to go, go about signing Xavier Worthy and his mom. His mom? Why? What's, what's his mom look like? Uh, Jay says, you still doing two-hour streak and then work or however it goes? Yeah, I'm doing – I got a one-hour lunch today, so I can do one hour today. I will. The week before the draft, I'm going to take that whole week off in the afternoon. So I will be streaming every day leading up to the draft and, of course, the draft itself. But what I would like to do is I would like to get to the point where I can work it out with work to take two hours a day and just do a lunch stream every day. I, I would like to get to that point, but it, it's got to be I, it's got to be worth it for me to, to go to work with that. Oh, yeah, the whole draft. I'm streaming the whole draft. Yeah. From, from from the first pick to the last pick. I'll be streaming with, with Joey Shakes. Uh, Dirt Leggy, man. Thank you for the super chat, my man. He goes, I'm not mad about Reddick trade. Moving to a 3-4, he isn't great when dropping back. Huff can provide pressure and drop back. Well, the problem is, if you remember, the, one of the things about Huff was he doesn't do anything but 
but rush the passer as well. He's not good against the run. He's not good in coverage. I, I think the whole 3-4 and Reddit can't play a 3-4 because it can't cover. I think it's overblown. I, I kind of in some ways would say this. I think it's irresponsible for coaches to make players do things that they know that they're not good at instead of using them to their strength. I, I, I you know, that that's what I think. Like, why is the coach so, so, like, so stuck on his system that you're willing to take a double digit sack guy and not use him at getting sacks? Reddick sack chasing good. He should be because that's what he does best. You must live really close to work. You have to come home streamed. Oh, uh, you do. Ten minutes. Like, boom. I just got to jump on the highway. And usually, as long as the highway is clear, it's like five minutes. With traffic, usually about ten. So, yeah, it's like right around the corner. So, what I do is, a lot of times you'll see, like, my videos during, like, you know, in the afternoon. Like, I, I come home for lunch. I, I record it. I get all my stuff. I go back. And then I work and edit, work and edit. And then I put it out. So, I do work close. Bring back Nathan, Gary, Ronald, Darby, Derek, Barnett, Nelson, Angler. But why, why don't you just put me in the, in the hospital? You know? Why don't you put me in the hospital? When you go to dance yoga, you need to ask about Mark. Oh, I know. I was going to text him about Mark, but I said, eh. Leon says, 500. I'm currently on a break. Should I go to Arby's and get the beef and cheddar with curly fries and mozzarella sticks or go to Chick-fil-A? I've never, I don't remember the last time I've eaten at Arby's, so... I'll say the curly fries got 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 my attention. Oh. Left side of the line is locked down, locked down, you know, and it's going to be interesting to see what they do uh, in the draft with the offensive line uh, because I, I'm not sure. Like, I, I'm totally not sure that this team isn't going to go and uh, end up getting um, an offensive lineman early. You know, you get an offensive lineman that maybe could play guard right away and then eventually go in, go go outside or something like that. You know, I'll tell you that the, the offensive lineman I really like, right? Well, I like I like the kid uh, Joe Alt, but I don't know if he'll be there. But that that J.C. Latham, Latham, dude, I think that guy's a beast. If you could get him, I would do it. Because he's six foot six, man. He can play guard on the outside. Five hundred minutes signing is great, but his injury problems concern. If he stays healthy, then it's a very good move. Yeah, well, I think he's a backup. I I think he's a backup. I I do. I think they would like him to be. You know, five hundred. We need to go live more. It makes the work day for us a draw. If I could do it, I will, man. If I can work it out with work and I can make it work financially, I will. Are we moving the Alabama steel guy uh, to start at right guard that we draft this second year? Yeah, I think that's the plan is he's probably going to compete for that right guard spot. But that kid from Alabama, the guy, kid they got now that's going to first round, I love that kid. He is nasty. He is big. Pause. And I think he's going to be a stud. I'm just saying, if we're going to go offensive line, if, if we're going to go that route, you know, I think I think it's an open competition. I think you got that kid Steen, and then you got this uh the kid that they just got. Uh what's his face? Uh uh forget the 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 kid they just got, Hennessy. Is that what it is? I think there'll be an open competition. Maddox hybrid slots. I don't like Maddox's safety though. I, I gotta tell you, I hate Maddox's safety. He can't tackle. He's he's just not physical enough. Quit work. I I can't right now. I can't. I, I don't know how some of these guys do it, man, but I can't I can't do it. You have to do your boss favors to leave work. No, my boss, my main boss is, is in Arizona. So the main corporate place is like Arizona. So it's just me and another guy. We run the we run the office out here, and then we you know there's people underneath us. So I can I can work it out with him and, and make it work. This free agency is awesome. Yeah, for the most part. Nate says, I am stressed. Why? A young gang says, yeah, kick around with Latham. Before I got Fontana, yeah. All plum yeah, I agree. Yes, and more super to quit. There you go. 
I wish it was that easy. Oh, well, living in comfort probably makes things a lot more difficult. Oh, man, it's brutal. It's brutal. Slagathar says, keep an eye out on three cornerbacks in the early second or late first if they want to trade up. Uh, TJ Tampa, uh, Ennis uh, Rakestraw. A lot of people have Rakestraw going to the Eagles. Max Melton, all be worth late 30s, early 40s. I doubt we see a cornerback at 22 likely offensive lineman. I agree. I think it's going to be an offensive lineman too. And I don't think it's going to be 22. I think the Eagles are going to trade up. I think if you want a defensive, uh, if you want an edge rusher or you want an offensive lineman, you got to trade up. There's going to be like four or five offensive linemen possibly go by 20. Why can't you buy? I don't know. I don't know why. Hey, five. I saw NFL. Josh Allen was not happy. Oh, I know. I know. I saw it too, South Jersey. I saw it too. Yep, and request a trade. I'm not sure how true this is, but I would hope. I saw it too, and I don't know what to make of it. Um, here, here it is. I, I had it ready to go. So this was the tweet, right? Josh Allen is not happy. He could want to be traded. I don't know where that's coming from. Why that's why that statement, why that statement is being said. I have no idea. Um, but I'm down with it. I'm down. That's my dream situation. We talked about like in, in the prior video of like what would be a dream situation for me. That, that would be a, a dream situation. You know, what's my thoughts on Pierce being the league? I mean, I mean, God bless him, man. Play as long as you can, but he's got nothing left. Trey Brown, man. Dave Super Trey goes, can we get a Mark Holmes Big Seals debate? That, that would be great, wouldn't it? That would be great. Who the fuck is... Mark Holmes. I don't Who's know that Mark all Holmes? this was necessary. Who is I, this I, guy? I honestly don't think it was all necessary. Mark, I don't think it's necessary. I I, I love that when he says that. I don't think this was necessary. <laughs> uh, Smitty is next. We need to keep him in Philly long term. Pay the man. He does. Oh, he's not going anywhere. If there's one thing I'm sure of, and it's it's Devontae Smith will not be going anywhere. What up, Codeman? What's going on? Iron Mike says, full-time stream in Philly, no work. You'll have to do Zoom trainings to lose weight with Mark Spawn. Where's the fitness? Man, let me tell you. This year, I am going to lose so much weight. I'm going to lose so much weight this year that my wife's going to think she's cheating on me. That's my goal. That's how much weight I'm going to lose this year. I, I It wouldn't be full-time stream. It would just be like taking... A day, like a, a an extra length long lunch break, but I would be willing to show up at like five in the morning every day, stuff like that. Adrian, they, they were super tickles. Mark's gonna cry when they lose another player. He can't take it, man. He, he, he I'm telling you, he's losing it. So they need to be the moderator with Sills and Mark. I'll, I'll do it, dude. I, I, I offer they can come on my channel and we can have them have it out. You know what I mean? 500 Ozempic. I don't know, man. That stuff scares me. I was reading about that stuff, and they were saying that, like, like people have digestive problems and stuff. No, I'm not watching WrestleMania. Joel B is back on the court, and the Phillies lose the first two series. I saw that, yeah. I, I love when he says that. I don't think that was necessary. <laughs> Get on the carnivore diet. You, feel, you know, I'm really thinking about doing that. I, I started to look into that. You know, I, I got to do it this year, man. No more excuses. You know, I, I'm full of excuses. That's my biggest problem. You know, I think I like I do good for like two weeks and then I'm like, oh, I deserve to give myself credit. And then I and then I wind up screwing myself over. Smith could be traded to the Bills if the Eagles don't pay him what he's worth. He'll want to be them. He ain't going nowhere. There, there is no chance that the Eagles trade Devontae Smith. Uh, there, there's no chance. It, it will not happen. It will not. Philly work is all about give and take. Pay your dues early, and then you need a little cooperation to generally receive consideration. That's right. That's right. And you got to just keep doing it. I I used to I used to like wrestling back in like the you know nineties and so I love I love the Attitude Era. 
I used to watch. I used to go watch them if they if they if a Raw was war was in like Philly, Baltimore, anywhere near like Landover, Maryland, anywhere like that. I would go. Um, I can't stand it now though. It just it's just horrible to me. So I haven't followed it in years. Try some crack like the rest of the crackheads looking for evil. Yeah, that that might be a good idea. Why not? You should vlog your fitness journey 500. That would get followers. I will I will probably record it and keep track of it. But I won't put any of it out until I like actually complete the process. You know, I'm too embarrassed otherwise. Meal prep, way not over. Yeah. I I just, I listen, it's all my fault. I have, I have done this to myself. <laughs> I have done this to myself. My mommy wasn't mean to me and I overeat now or, or, or anything like that. No, <laughs> I've done it to myself. Jeff Johnson, what's up? He goes, what's up, Philly? How long are you streaming today? I have two hours left at work on Borzo. At least an hour. At least an hour. And if work if work doesn't text me, I might try to stretch that out a little bit. And just see how we go, how, how the stream's doing, you know, all that. Then he says, let's not forget John Doe called the picket trade a week before. Oh, he's been calling it for two years. He, he thought the Eagles were going to draft him. Uh, did you see the comment? Do you think whoever the problem it was Nick's fault or Brian Johnson's fault? Knowing Brian Johnson's going. No, I mean I think I think the way the Eagles are approaching it, and by the things that they're doing uh, in free agency, I think they're blaming the coaching staff. I think they think the coaching staff let them down last year. You know, I think I, I think that's why. Yeah, I would be interested in Yannick, absolutely. But I'm telling you, if Josh Allen. Is not, and I know that this is like a a big what if, and I'm not saying there's anything out there. There's only this one thing here. I don't know. I have no idea what to make of this. I have no idea. But if 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 Josh Allen was, if they were, if they can't work something out with him, and they would even consider it, I'm the Eagles. I would trade for him in a second. Mr. Cheese, thank you for the super chat, my man. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Uh, Fifth Fire, you remember when we told you to join Twitch? Now streamers are making more than rappers. That's crazy, right? Yeah, I, I still haven't joined it. Uh, she says, guys got to understand, Hertz will play a huge part in AJ. will want a new deal next year. He has um, no guarantees after this year. Somebody's leaving for sure, and Buffalo's a prime destination. Well, here's the thing. I I think based upon the Eagles' philosophy, unless it drastically changes, they don't they don't let homegrown talent walk away like that. Like when you're drafted by them, you have a better chance to sign. I think also AJ Brown's going to command more money than Devontae Smith, so it's a lot easier to sign Devontae Smith. He's a little bit younger. I, ju I just can't see any way in which Devontae would leave. I think A.J. Brown will be gone. You know, Josh Allen is the truth. I'm telling you. It, listen, if, if, the, if, the, if the Jaguars cannot work a deal out with him, you know what? Technically, to be honest with you, you, you can sign him right now. You can literally sign him to an offer sheet. The Jaguars can match it, but you can literally sign him. You'd have to give up two first-round picks. But you could do it. You could technically sign Josh Allen right now. And the fact that they signed him to a non-exclusive franchise tag means that they're open to the possibility it ain't going to work out. If it's an, you know, if it's a exclusive uh, franchise tag, then nobody can negotiate with him. So maybe, maybe you try to do something. I mean, look, the Giants gave up a second and a fifth for Brian Burns. Josh Allen, outside linebacker, he's gonna fit the system. I I, I think he'd be perfect. Philly 500 cited at one of the yeah, right. 
That stuff with Diddy is whack, though. It's whacked out. Mark Holmes was sitting there watching this, his mom's panties. <laughs> I know. It's so funny. The world is Mark Holmes. He's a guy that sits in his mom's panties and he told Who the fuck is Mark Holmes? I don't Who's know that Bob all Holmes? this was necessary. Who is this guy? I, I honestly don't think it was all Not necessary. necessary. Better try and trade than sign uh, Josh Allen. I, I mean, man, could you imagine? Jameson Smith, thank you for super chat, my man. I appreciate it. You remember the Iverson uh, Mall in Maryland? The place was so ghetto left out. I grew up in PG County, then moved to Philly when I was 20. Would you move back? You lived in, in Prince George's? Boy, PG County was crazy, man. I... I see, I did the opposite. I lived in Jersey and then moved to Maryland for a while. And then I moved back to Jersey um, and then back to Maryland. Um, I don't remember the Iverson Mall. What, what mall was that? I don't remember wh wh which mall are we talking about. But thank you for Super Chat. Would I move back? Probably not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't move. I lived in Montgomery County, so I. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go back. No, now I wouldn't go back to Maryland, and I probably. Maybe only reason maybe South Jersey is because family, but probably not even there. I lived PG for two years. Rough play. Oh yeah, rough. Where is the Howie findings all this money? Why is Howie rewarding players who played god awful? Down the stretch last year. Well, I mean, Rich, they, they all played awful, though. I mean, if if we if we took that approach, who who would you even keep on the team? I mean, the only guy that I thought played good down the stretch last year was Devontae Smith. He was like the only one that showed up in the playoffs. I I don't know. I mean, I I think that I think that they're blaming the coaches because if if you if you're gonna hold. If you're going to hold like Jordan Mulata responsible for those last six games, and then everybody is is got to be held responsible, no? You just moved to PG County. Mm. I don't think this is necessary. It's right up there with uh, I said, run the ball. Oh, I know it's hilarious. PG County, yeah, uh, I know it well. Uh, I'm glad Howie is locking up the O line. Um, Barkley's running to the left for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that he's not going to be able to run the right side because th they're going to draft. I think they're going to draft the. Uh, I think they're going to draft the offensive lineman, or they're going to draft like a wide receiver, tight end, like. They're going to do something crazy. I also do think that you got to keep an eye on Cooper DeGene. And, and the reason I say it is because the, the, the rumors are that the Eagles, people in the front office, absolutely love him. They love him. I wouldn't draft him in the first round, personally. I wouldn't. But if, if they really love him, then who knows? 500. We Eagle fans who stay in Dallas feel you should change the intro. The Cowboys still stink, not Dallas. You have a lot of Dallas support here. Cowboys still okay. I could do that. Um, Daniel says, "Hey, five hundred. You know, just like everyone in this chat, the Eagles will not ever draft a cornerback or linebacker in the first round. You can book that. The O line, D line, wide receivers are the only position we draft in round one. Well." I mean, they did draft one in 2002. I wouldn't say that, you know, because the if if Sertan if Sertan goes and falls to the Eagles, I think the Eagles take him over Devontae Smith. So I think they'll draft a corner. It just depends on who. It like it's like running back. It has to be the perfect situation. But I don't think they're going to draft a corner this year. Obviously now, and I don't think linebacker. Yeah, I think it's off offensive line, defensive line, and then yeah, maybe a wide receiver or something. 
What part of Montgomery County? Uh, Gaithersburg. Oh, uh, Montgomery Village, to be exact. Uh, True Black, thank you for super chat. He goes, I live three miles from Iverson Mall. Still go. I don't remember Iverson Mall. I remember, like, what? I mean, I remember a bunch of them. I just don't remember that. Was there? Was it used to be called something else? Don't change feel everybody knows you're talking to the cowgirls. Okay. Where where was where was the where was the mall at? I'm from Texas, uh, where they live and die cowboys, but no matter what, I represent Eagles. Shout out to you, man. I got pulled over in Texas for wearing a Brian Dawkins jersey. Seriously. I, a cop pulled me over and gave me a speeding ticket because I had a Dawkins jersey on. It's in Sweetland. Oh, I don't remember. When did they? I don't remember the Iverson Mall. But I might have been gone. I might have been gone out of that area before it came. I don't remember. Damn right. Devontae Smith dropped balls too. Pause. This really needs to stop. He's not better than AJ. They're peers. It's not a matter of, of of him being better or not than AJ. It's just a matter of he's going to be less expensive, he's a little bit younger, and he was drafted by the Eagles. I think those three things are big advantages on him staying AJ going. I don't think AJ Brown's leaving for – I think he'll play another two years with the Eagles. I, I, don't think, I don't think it's going to be like a trade or anything like that. Trey Diesel, man, thank you for Super Chat. Goes my man, five hundred. This year's draft is going to be so exciting. It's one of those years I have no idea what we're going to do at all. Should be fun. Yeah, I know. I really don't know either. Like this could be one of those years that they trade. Maybe, maybe they finally trade back. Every year, people tell me the Eagles are trading back. The Eagles are trading back, and they always trade up. Maybe this is the year they actually trade back. Maybe they go corner. I don't think they're going corner. I think they're going off as a line. Maybe they do go tight end and take that tight end. I, they're going to do something. I think they're going to do something crazy. It's been there for years. I just don't remember it. Billy Jackson, I first shout out 500. Big, shout out to you, man. Watch the Cowboy fans say they didn't do anything this offseason because they're getting digs next year when he's free. Oh, my God. That whole the whole reason why they didn't do anything this offseason was because Stefan Diggs was going to get traded to Dallas. Boy, they, they are heartbroken. What's up with Steen? Backup right tackle, starting right guard, backup right guard. I think um no, I think I, I think it's too early to say he's a bust. I think he showed some potential. I think they see him as a guard, and I think he's gonna he's gonna be competing for that starting right guard spot next to Lane. You know, I, I think him, the kid Hennessy that they drafted, and then um, whoever they draft in the draft. So I listened to your earlier cast. I didn't think they are not getting draft to corner. They are not going to draft the corner just because they were signed uh, Avante Max. If they draft the O or D line, I think it's because that's what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, you know, I don't think that Avante Maddox necessarily – changed their whole idea of them drafting a corner. That's not what I was saying. It, to me, what I was saying was that the fact that they were going to fill a, a, a cornerback spot with another free agent, me, meaning that they weren't really planning on going the route of corner in the first round anyways. I, I think they're going to go O-line or D-line. But I I think, I, I think they just need to take the best player available. Us. Uh, all right, Mike's a serious question. Who can we draft that can be a one a day one starter who would they beat out on our current possible stars? I don't see any day one stars, even with trash bear. See, I I I felt like cornerback was the one spot I thought you could get like a Quinion Mitchell, and I think you could put him in and just play him as starter. Start him over Bradbury. Even if he makes mistakes, even if he's not necessarily ready, you let the young guys just play and learn. I think he could definitely be a, a, a day one starter. Um, I think if you draft certain wide receivers, like 
that could play in the slot, even though technically they might not be a starter. But I consider that third wide receiver spot as like a starting spot where you're going to play. So I think that's another area where you could get a, somebody that would play and, and be a starter. I think you could draft the offensive lineman. That's probably the most likely is you get a guy like a Latham or one of these other guys, and you probably could start him right at right guard. But I, I think you need at least two starters on this draft. Uh, since we're told Maryland, I lost my Virginia Ocean Simulator in 2006 after high school. Well, that that's the place to do it. I used to stay on 45th Street all the time, once a year. Yo, 500 Big Seal said that he believes after this latest extension with Jordan that he thinks how he's making more cat room for a big trade. But they already they already got they already got the cat room for a big trade, you know. But I think Howie's up to something. I I do. I don't think that that Reddick move was the uh, was was the end all be all. Like I think there's another shoe to drop. I'm telling you, Josh Allen, Josh Allen, Josh Allen. I know that the Jags don't want to move him. They probably wouldn't. But man, I it can't hurt to call because if God they could get Josh Allen, that would change everything to me. Uh, Eddie Daver Super Chat. He goes, are Mark Holmes' mom's panties in the Cowboys merch store? Did Maddox amputate that toe? No, he still got the big ass toe. And and I don't believe Mark is selling uh the, the panties yet. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know. We got 568 people in the chat. Make sure you guys have hit that like. Make sure you guys subscribe. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I I couldn't I I, I I'm really busy this afternoon, so I was not going to be able to edit another video. So I figured I would just come on here and uh, talk to you guys. Rapture ready. Are you ready? Rapture ready? Dave or Super Chat, you ready for it? April 8th is what they're saying. I don't know. Uh, but Dave or Super Chat goes, Redskins are going to be tough this year. If they get a quarterback, they will be. I think they've improved a lot. Hell, they may be better than Dallas. If the best Philly for if the best play, and thank you for that super chat. Uh, Philly, if the best player player available is at wide receiver, do they trade back? I don't know. I I think if the best player available is at wide receiver, I think you should take him. I think you should take him, especially if he's a guy that could play inside and outside. You know, because eventually you're going to have to replace AJ Brown, or if if you want to say, you know. Devonta, whatever. You're going to have to replace a receiver in a few years. So why not get just get one now and you have three really good receivers for the next few years? I, would, I wouldn't I would trade back. I would trade back in the second round. I would trade one of my second round picks. I would trade that back. But I'm not trading my first. If I anything, I'm going up. Packers love Edrin Cooper. I think the Eagles should get him. Like, really thinking about it, I think the Eagles should get him. Like, they should actually trade up with one of their seconds, get up there, get them early in the second round. Then take the second second round pick and trade back. That's what I would do. Yeah, definitely hit that like button. 500, if you could bring one former Eagles player, which player would it be, Vinnie Curry or Ertz? I would choose Ertz over Curry. If I had to choose between those two, but I'm not happy Ertz is in Washington, though. Should have traded for CD Lamb few wanted him so bad. I wanted him too at the time. You know, it worked out now, but at the time it was yeah, I, I agree. They I don't know what they were thinking. Cooper at 22, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I don't see him going in the first round. Second round, definitely. Who did Joey mention in his stream? Jackson Powers about the 15 years. I don't know. What do you mean about the 15 years? Now, Jackson, uh, you know, he would be an interesting pick, too. If, if you wanted to keep Jurgens at right guard or even move uh, Powers to right guard, he would be an interesting pick, too. I, I could see that. Uh, spilled milk. Thank you for Super Chat. He goes, uh, thoughts on picking up Isaiah Simmons? I think it's a... Uh, 
I think it's a no risk, high reward. Why not? What do you got to lose? He's probably not going to cost you much, and he's got a lot of talent. Why not? Uh, Jimmy says, Five, if we're going to go defensive end, I want to trade up for a verse. Yeah, verse. I'm with you on him. Yeah, definitely him. Latu, Latu is your guy. <clears throat> I worry about his injury. I worry about his injury. Um, that, that scares me. But he's tremendously talented, though. Michael says 500 powers Johnson. Yeah. Could be could be a guy to get. I'd be really happy with two starters from the draft. Me too. I think if you went and you could get two starters from this draft, especially if they were on the defensive side of the ball, that'd be awesome. Uh, Damon, and thank you for super chat. He goes, folks need to not talk about Devontae's drops. He only had five. Last season on 112 targets. That's geez, that's not that's not bad at all. I I am not worried about Devontae Smith. I bet you two of them came in at least one game. He had one game where he had he had a couple drops, I remember, but dude, Devontae Smith's a stud. And thank you for that super chat. Joey says, I think they're going to draft Troy Fatanu. He will start day one guard a mauler and can kick the right tackle too. Yeah, I agree. See, I, I'm thinking that's probably the most logical move for the Eagles to draft an offensive lineman who will start day one and then eventually kick out to right tackle. Uh Fatanu, they apparently are in love with that kid. They really, really like him. Um Joe all I don't think he'll be there. Um, they'd have to go way up for him. Um, who else? Uh, the Tyler Guyton guy they've talked about, possibly, maybe. Um, there's somebody else. Who am I thinking of? There's somebody else that they're they're interested in. And then you got the kid I like. Um, What's his name? Uh, J.C. Latham. Latham Latham, the Alabama uh, guard tackle. He could play. He, he's the same situation. Can play guard and kick out the tackle. He's six foot six. I mean, he's a monster. If you drafted him, start him right at right guard. Oh man, that whole line is is nasty. So I I would not mind him. We still need a second great tight end. Yeah, you want Bowers? I mean, listen, that would be a great move by the Eagles. Like I wouldn't be surprised if they do something like that. I do think, I do think we're going to see. I think the, I think there's a big surprise coming. I don't know if it's a trade. I don't know if it's going to be the draft pick. But I have a feeling, my gut feeling is something something is up. Howie's up to something. With the move with Reddick, uh, there's something else to, to drop. Draft night for JOK, let's go. Oh, man, you remember how bad I wanted JOK? Pause. Like, I was all about JOK. And he's turned out to be pretty good with the Browns. Slaga there's a Troy Fatanu is a day one right guard. Jackson Powers Johnson is a day one center. Terry and Arnold's day one outside corner. Cooper DeGene is a day one free safety. Thank you. Uh, they have a few day one starters this year. See, I, I agree. And and the thing with Cooper DeGene is I watch, I've been watching him. I'm like, I think this guy's a safety. He, he looks like a safety at the next level. And that's what I think he's going to be. But here's the thing with him. Um, keep in mind, keep this in mind in just in case the Eagles take him, right? Because we're hearing that they, they're raving in the, uh, the, the scouts or some of the scouts are raving about him. But one of the reasons they signed Barkley, they'll say, well, we signed Barkley because he's a weapon. They don't even look at him like a running back. They look at him as another weapon. I think that they probably look at, uh, Cooper DeGene as a weapon on defense. Because here's a guy that could play safety, could play corner in the slot, could play outside. He's a guy you can move all around, and he could do returns. If they draft him, I believe that they're going to say that he's a weapon, and that's why. So you're not sure how familiar you are with Hagerstown, Maryland, but that's where I say I, I know where Hagerstown is. I've, I've been through it, been there, but, I mean, I don't know the area well itself. But I do know. I know Frederick, Maryland, Gaithsburg, Montgomery Village, Rockville, Bethesda, um, Northern Virginia, 
where they have the worst drivers ever in the world is in Northern Virginia. 500, couldn't we basically muscle the Jags out of Allen by offering them more than they could match? Yeah, they could. I mean, the Eagles could literally go. I don't know what Jacksonville's uh, cap number is, but he could be signed right now. You can sign him today, and they have a chance to match it. You'd have to give up probably two first-round picks or work a trade out. But, I mean, dude, if the Jags can't sign, like, how could it ever get to a franchise tag point with, with Josh Allen? With a guy that young, that is as good as he is, and a Jacksonville team who's, who's like, you know, they're, they're, they're competing for a Super Bowl. How could he even get to a point where you don't sign him? I would I would sign Josh Allen in a second. God, that would God, that would change everything. Josh Allen, the Bills quarterback, right? No, no, no. Josh Allen, the outside linebacker for the Jaguars. The belt is back with Pizzle. Mr. Rudy Poo, thank you for the super chat, my man. He said, Sills calls Mark Sherlock Holmes. Why is his fan so mad? Joel, we need oh Edrin Cooper. I agree. I, I'm with you with Cooper. I, I mean, I think they got to find a way to get him. I really do, it, especially in the second round. You're talking about Mark Holmes. You're talking about this. In the world is Mark Holmes. He's a guy that sits in his mom's panties and he talks. Who the fuck is Mark Holmes? I don't Who's know that Bob all Holmes? this was necessary. Who I, is this I, guy? I honestly don't think it was all You're necessary. necessary. That guy, my what's going on, Philly 500? Is Woogie really back in Mahomes? Yeah, Woogie is back in Kansas City. Listening to NFL radio, they are doing a, Mac, a mock draft, and they have the Eagles taking Quentin Mitchell and Cooper DeGene going to Minnesota 29th pick. Well, see, Qu Quinion Mitchell is like, is like one of my top guys in this draft. Like, I would love Quinion Mitchell. I, I think he could start right away. And I think if he goes to the right team, I think he could develop into a good player. Steve Roses, what's up, Five? I'm at work. Can't uh, be on live. Snuck in here. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, man. I I I didn't have – I had to come home and make a video, but I didn't have time to edit it with the Jordan Mulata stuff going because I have a bunch of stuff going on. And I put a video out earlier today thinking that was probably the only thing we're going to do. So I figured I'd just come live for a while. If we get Josh Allen, I don't think Michael will be coming in two years. I don't want him, Michael. Uh, you don't need him. You know, uh, listen. I I think Josh Allen is 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 a stud. I I like. I think he's just getting started. You get Josh Allen. Yeah, you don't need him. I mean, Josh Allen had seventeen what seventeen and a half sacks last year. Um. Man, I don't know. I'm listen. The, the chances are so remote that that would even happen. I should probably not even be talking about it. It's just my dream case scenario. It's just a dream of mine, you know. And then and then and then I see that like I see this today, and it's like, well, what what where did this come from? And I still don't understand about this tweet. Like, what is it talking about? Like. Like, what does he mean Josh Allen's not happy? Like, where, what's he talking about? Where does it say anything? So, you know, I would love Josh Allen. See, I feel like if you acquired Josh Allen, then I'm like, okay, now I know you had to get rid of Reddick. It makes perfect sense now. I'm okay with it. And it would make everything easier. Chop's name's uh, ringing out of, yeah, Chop Robinson or as I called them, Chip Robinson the other day. But Chop Robinson's name's come up a lot. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm like, eh, I, I think that there's a lot of talent there. I'm not like, there's there's guys I like better. So I'm not I'm not as big on him as some other people. But you know, I I know he did really good in the in the in the combine. But you know. I like Yannick Ngakwe. I, I think that Yannick Ngakwe, you know, he floats around to different teams, but he always seems to come up with eight, nine sacks a year. So I think, like, he's the kind of guy that, you know, you get through the draft and you don't add somebody in the draft. 
uh, yeah, bring him in as somebody, as a depth piece. Uh, I think that the Jordan Mulata extension was a good good thing. I, I mean, you want to tie those guys up. You want them long term. He's your left tackle. You don't you you want that to be one of those positions that you don't worry about. And um, I don't know how much cap space it's going to save, but I love the idea that you now have uh, Jordan Mulata, Landon Dickerson, both receiving extensions the same year. That that left side is locked down. It's done. So I really like that they have stability there, especially because you still need a right guard, and then Lane Johnson's going to retire at some point. So you're, you're going to have to, you know, spend some money and some resources on the right side. Better not to have to worry about your left side for years to come. Did you see the Broncos insider said that Simmons doesn't want to work with Fangio? No, I, I didn't see that. But, I mean... See, you had some Dolphin players too, right? Like, uh, I forget who, but there were Dolphin players that didn't like working with him either. And then to see the way, you you know, he comes in and it's like you get a guy like Hassan Reddick and all of a sudden you're willing to just get rid of him. It makes you wonder. So I got to say, if we get Allen, I'm pretty sure Mark Holmes would live stream. If he'll jump on a local bridge, oh my gosh. I'm telling you, it would be crazy. I would give a first-round pickup for him. Antonio Holmes says, I would be hyped with Edge, Edge Cooper, Junior Colson, or Paint Wilson. I like Paint Wilson a lot. Don't know enough about Colson. And then uh, Cooper, I think I, I think Cooper is the best off-the-ball linebacker. I, I like Cooper a lot. And if you get him a second round, I would be great. No, Chop Robinson, please. I'd rather have Verse or Dude from Bama. Oh, yeah, I agree. I agree with you. Philly, I said to yourself, this defense isn't much better at all. We need draft D. We do. We do. I mean, see, look, you're better. C.J. Garner-Johnson's an upgrade. Devin White is an upgrade, although an upgrade from what? But I think that trading Reddick, I, I just think it hurt. I think it hurt what you've done because I think Huff could be good, and I think Nolan Smith could be good, but they need time to develop. And I'm okay with it. Fine. You want to play him. Fine. You want to develop those young guys. That's why you have a high-powered offense. I get it. But at least get me something back for Reddick that I could use this year. But they, they do need defense. What do you think? What what do you have that works against chicken sacrifices and matrimonial duties? Uh, matrimonial duties, if done right, are very holy. That, that'll work. Josh Allen from Philly. Hopefully we get – he's from Philly? Josh Allen? Nah. No, is he really? Nah, he can't be from Philly. That's 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 going to make me even want him more. I can't imagine Josh Allen. Where's Josh Allen from? Let me see. He's from Virginia. He was born in Cumberton County, Virginia. Oh, he went to Montclair in high school, senior year. Okay. He's from Montclair. He went to high school in Montclair, New Jersey. Okay. I didn't know that. Interesting. VJ, man, they were super chat. He goes, Dear Howie, still waiting out for our Parsons trade. That's coming. You know that's coming. We go first, Edrin Cooper, Xavier Leggett. Uh, that's an A-plus draft. Uh, all those guys would contribute right away. PNB, Jeff says, Darius Slay, Bradbury Maddox, Isaiah Rogers, Keely Ringo, Eli Ricks, Josh Job, Zach McPherson. Uh, we Do we not... Truth, trust our quarterback room, the young guys to develop, right? I I think that that's how the Eagles probably look at it. That we have all those young guys, let them develop. 
me, when I think of all those young guys, I I think Quinion Mitchell, Arnold, um, Wiggins, uh, Kool Aid. I think they're all better. <laughs> I think they're all better than the, the, those guys are also. But I think that you're right. I think that's how the Eagles look at it. I think they look at it like Slay and Bradbury one more year. You got uh, Isaiah Rogers in here, and maybe they're going to use him on the outside. When they signed him, they said they wanted him in the inside, but he's played most of the time outside. Maybe they're, they're going to maybe they're going to figure it out. Uh, Ringo outside eventually to be a starter. Uh, Eli Ricks, we're going to see if he could develop. Uh, Job and, and McPherson, we, we will see. Um, it's going to be interesting. I'm waiting that Parsons trade out too. Uh, Frank says, do you think we'll ever get the whole story on the Reddick or the Claps? No. It's going to just be like the, the Carson Wentz thing. We we don't got any closure what happened with Carson Wentz and the Eagles. I don't think we'll get the same with Reddick. But, I mean, I mean, you know, when these things come out, they always come out after we trade somebody. And it always seems like when the, the compensation, when it's questionable move, that's when you hear the most. Like, if it's a great move and we're all going, oh, what a great move by the Eagles uh, trading Reddick. Look at all everything they got. You don't hear anything. But when it's questionable and some of the fans don't like it, then you get these stories. Do you remember all the stuff that came out uh, about Deshaun Jackson when they cut him? And then there's stuff even on McCoy. And it's just like they do that. And a lot of teams do that. Dallas is the worst at it. But, I mean, Dallas does it during negotiations for uh, their own players. But I don't know. I don't I don't buy much into it, to be honest with you. I'd rather have Kool-Aid or Arnold over Zeke and Job. Easy. Oh, me too. I, I, I think that, like, I think those guys could start. Like, I would draft Arnold or Kool-Aid or even, uh, like, uh, Mitchell, I'm starting them over Bradbury. I just am. And, you know, I don't know. Of, do you can say that about the other guys. Go Birds, right? Styles says, Philly, what's up? With Mark Holmes putting up clips of you wearing a shirt saying he's your daddy. I need answers. That was a bet. I lost a bet. It was like two, three years ago. And I had to wear a shirt that he made and sent me. And it said, and I and then I had to say Mark Holmes is my daddy. That's it, because he was upset because I got him a, saying a bunch of stuff that you know he just said. So that's it. He just keeps playing it. But that was a lost bet. I I honored the bet. Um, a cornerback we should look into is out of my home state, Jersey. Max Melton. Right. Yeah. No. I I think there was an article on him today. I don't. I I want to say it was Chris Franklin, but I don't know who it was. But talking about his, the Eagles haven't drafted a, a player from Rutgers in like a long time. So, but I don't. I don't know much about him though. I remember the days of Homer being your daddy. Sad times. He was never my daddy. What are you talking about? I think Paris Campbell is. Uh, amalgamation of questions. You think he he's he's like both of them combined? I think he's I think he's better than than Quez, and he's probably a little bit better than uh than than what's his face. But we'll see. YouTube public said we got to trust Vic Fangio, Philly five hundred. He's better than Desai and Patricia. Well, he's definitely better than than those guys. There's no doubt. But I scheme wise. I'm not a big fan of the whole scheme, but it, it is what it is. Uh, LB Fish Transport, welcome back to Dig Bat Nation, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. Swollen City Fitness says 500. I got a mock draft scenario. If for you, if Terry Arnold, Brock Bowers, and Edron Cooper and Cooper DeGene is all on the board, who are you picking? If it was me personally, 
I would go Arnold. I would go Arnold only because I, I want to land a corner. Um, my second choice would be Edrin Cooper, then Bowers, and then Cooper DeGene. But now if you want to say who do I think in that case out of those four the Eagles would take, I think they would take DeGene. What's going on, man? Not much, man. What's going on with you? 500 new HBO limited series wrecked. Wrecked it. Uh, what happened to Reddick starring Denzel as Reddick, William Defoe as Howie, and Bradley Cooper as Sirianni? Yeah, Bradley Cooper killed the role, too. He dyed his hair back and everything, and, and, he, and he always looked high at the uh, press conferences like this. Like he just smoked a big fatty. Yeah, I thought I thought. I thought he had a, a great performance. I don't know. They're, they're they're discussing it. We might sell the rights to uh to Netflix, but we don't know yet. Harrison Jr. is going top seven. I think so. Absolutely. Only losses we take in this year is when we sit the stars end of the year. Man, I hope you're right. Hope you're right. Who do you think the Eagles are draft? Um, I don't know specifically player wise. It's hard to say. I think that it's going to be, if I had a guess, I think it's going. And, and this year is kind of hard because I think they could go a lot of different directions. Like this is one of those years where it it could go anywhere. But I would guess offensive line or defensive line is going to be where. Jeremiah Trotter Jr. will be. Uh, drafted by the Eagles for their third pick and draft for you. That that would be, I would like that. I like I I would love to get Trotter back uh, back. You see, that's what I'm saying. Like, see, I, I'm connecting. Like, I can't help it, but I like Trotter. Five hundred thoughts on Barkley two thousand yard rushing. I don't think he gets two thousand yards rushing because I don't think he'll get enough carries to get two thousand yards rushing. I do think he will get close to two thousand yards total. So I do think when you add up the passing and the rushing, I think he'll get close to 2,000 because I think he's going to be big time in the passing game. I think he's going to be huge in the passing game for us. So, so that, would, that would be my guess. So if you guys haven't, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe uh, if you haven't. I appreciate you guys being here. I do. Um, means a lot. If the Eagles trade up to Denver's 12th pick, do you see them draft going edge, probably verse, or quarterback? Probably? No, I think if they trade up, if the Eagles trade up, it's going to be a lineman. It's going to be probably verse. I would guess verse, or it's going to be offensive lineman. But I don't think it'll be a corner. Is the guy we picked up from the Lions any good? Uh, we signed him right at the – yeah, I mean, from what I've seen and what I've read about him, He's got a lot of upside. He's young, got a lot of talent, especially rushing the quarterback. That's all I know about him. Um, I think in terms of being a cheap move depth wise, um, there were you know some Lion fans told me they're like that's a good pickup for you guys. So sounds like there's some talent there, but we, we've got to see if he can develop. Cindy family says in the blue corner, weighing 208 pounds, waxed hair, big sills. First 250 pound curly white pins, white high heels, Mark Holmes ready to brawl. We need to do like an AI drawing. You know how they do the AI art? Like do the AI art of, of the Mark Holmes uh Dan Cilio, uh fight. Any other year I'm happy with O line first, but this year our window is open for Super Bowl. Take an impact player like Bowers and McConkey. While windows still open, yeah. I mean, I, I I can't argue that. I will say this though, in terms of like window open, I think that this year there's so many good offensive linemen that you'll probably get somebody that that imp is impactful. Like, I think you'll get a starter right away. I think Bryce Huff has the ability to be a a, a Hassan. Yeah, he does. I mean, I mean, Bryce Huff he has that ability. So does Nolan Smith. It's just a matter of you got to go out and do it more than one time, you know.
a move up to 12 would cost the second probably 53 but the eagles could come out of it with two for with Quinn and mitchell and edrin cooper oh i mean i would love it. see that's like my dream scenario like like you're talking give me quinion mitchell and edrin cooper of my first two picks i don't care how you get it done but you get that i think you got a starting corner and you got a starting linebacker that that's what i would say you know it, it, it in my opinion. Why did your boy go so hard? I don't know. I, I, I don't know what Twit said. Um, I heard that Twit started the whole thing. I had no idea what happened. I just got a phone call from Mark saying that, that Dan Cilio just went off on him. And, and I was like, I hadn't heard anything. It was hilarious. Um, Amelia says, 500, win the Super Bowl this year. I don't want to hear about no schemes, no excuses about they got the flu. Should go out, uh, should go 18 notes this year, right? Yeah. No, I, I hear I hear you. I hear you. Um, no excuses. I, I agree. Give it two this year to future. Hey, listen, I mean, think about it. Uh, Brian Burns, who was ranked as a, he was ranked higher in free agency, uh, as a free agent than, than Allen is. So the Giants gave up a second and a fifth for a guy, what, pretty much the same age, same kind of, maybe not as much production, but I think, I think a second and fifth, why not? I listen, I'll give a first one. I'll give my 22nd overall pick for Josh Allen right now, right now. If you said, all right, Jaguars will take your first pick. I would do it. I would do it. Why not? I literally haven't seen Phil in my feet. Why? Why? Why haven't you seen me? Why am I not showing up? Texans are being stingy now. Quinion Mitchell will be taken by them in the draft. Ryan's not playing around. Yeah, that that Texans team is they're they're building a they're building a really good team. They are. Uh, Amelia says, all love, Philly 500, I respect you, I love your podcast, you're doing a good job, buddy. One thing I give about Howie is he does his job. Thank you, man. Yeah, he does, he does. I think Howie's got something coming. Like, I don't think that Hassan Reddick, the Hassan Reddick trade was one of the very few trades that I could ever remember, if any, that I ever said to myself, I don't know what Howie's doing there. Never before have I ever said that about Howie in a trade. My only thing I can think of is that Howie, he is going to, uh, he, he's got something up his sleeve. There's something else coming in terms of trade. I just think that there there is. And thank you for that uh, nice words. Uh, Michael says, Pound Philly, I think we should draft that fast, really big wide out and replace AJ two years. But I can see AJ resigning with us. He said he loves Philly and playing Philly, he may take a discount. He, he's gonna have. It's gonna be hard because by the time, by the time he signs, he's ready for a new contract. You're gonna think about all the receivers that are gonna sign extensions. I mean, Justin Jefferson included. So it's gonna be a lot of money. Um, yeah, I think you're talking about. You're talking about Mitchell, Donnie Mitchell. Uh, I like. I like that kid too. I I think that kid is gonna be good. Um, absolutely. Richie P says, watch out for my Cowboys. We signed a long snapper. Oh, man, we're so scared. The, the one-star rating Cowboys. You guys stink. Rogue says, hey, I don't think we have um, to give a first-round pick, second round to get point for Josh Allen. Hey, listen, that's even better. But I'm just saying, like, in terms of my value for him, I think he's worth a, a first round pick. He's what, 26, 17 and a half sacks last year. The guy's a monster. Uh, I think I think when talking about fitting a system that we're going to run, I think he would fit it perfect. So, I mean, why not? It, it's going to be interesting. It, it really will. Uh, it's a fluid thing once Dallas Turner. I like Dallas Turner too. I just don't know how hot you have to go. You guys think. Dallas Turner goes late top 10, like back into the top 10, like 9, 10. I think you have to get way up there to get him. 
Oh, I'm ring my doorbell. Sorry, my mom might just ring my doorbell. It's like, how do they know I'm home? I don't know. Anyways. Go after yourself. I think the Cowboys are going to tank their season, get rid of Dak, and shoot, shoot start and start over. Uh, that's what they've been saying. I think that that's definitely what they're going to do. Uh, Dan Silio says that they're trying to get Sanders' kid, Shador Sanders, that that's their plan. And they may even hire Dion as head coach. So watch out for that. Dallas, they're schemers. They are schemers. All right, well, listen, guys, I can do about a couple more minutes, and then I got to go I gotta go back to work. So, um, you know, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. If you guys haven't, hit that like button. How many likes do we got? We should have at least 400 likes. We got 277. Hit that like. Let's get them likes up. The one that we're probably getting, probably getting throttled beyond belief. Hit that like button. Let's get up to 400 likes before we get out of here. <clears throat> I the week of the the week before the draft, I will be streaming every day um, during the afternoon for a couple hours. Um, this one we did today because I I wasn't gonna have time to edit another video with the Jordan Malata extension, which I like by the way. Hard pass on line mechanic. The average white receivers just rarely pan out. I think I think he's gonna be really good. I think he's going to be a, a good uh, a good slot wide receiver. Texans aren't going to trade a young cornerback on a rookie deal, though. No, they're not. No. Anthony, thank you, my man. Trade for Milano and draft Cooper and lock up the linebackers this year. I love to. We, we've got to do something about those linebackers. That's for sure. Tyler, thank you for super chat, man. He goes, "How do you like Dan Silio's take on the birds?" He's a super. I don't agree with him. I mean, I, I like Dan. I do. Um, but I don't. I don't agree with his takes, and I know he doesn't agree with mine. Um, but that is what it is, you know. Um, do, I think. I think some of it is. I think he busts your guys. I think he busts people's balls because he knows they're going to get them all angry and worked up. But I, yeah, I don't, I don't agree. Like, I, I think the Eagles, I think they've done some really good things this year. My kids who are three and one years old love you. When they hear you enter, they go, "Oh, really, Kenneth? That's that's awesome, man!" Shout out to your kids, man. Thank you. Philly Shakedown Saturday, yeah, Shakedown Saturday, absolutely. I think right. What's Saturday? Yeah, there's nothing going on. Yeah. Xavier Leggett looks like a beast. Looks like he, oh yeah, he does. He looks like he's going to be a monster in this league. I, I like him a lot. I like these three players in the first three picks: Latu, Latu, Brendan Rice, and Jeremiah Trotter Jr. And sign safety Justin Simmons. Well, your first three picks, that would be. I mean, you would get two. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Philly is getting jacked. So I'm getting jacked. Like I said, my goal is to lose so much weight that my wife thinks she's cheating on me. That's it. She, she go, I'm going to lose so much weight. She touches me. She's going to be like, I'm cheating on my husband. I'm like, no, nah, baby, that is your husband. Denzel in his glory. What did they p pick a... Don't like Detroit to have a NFL draft. I don't know. They should go back to Philly. Really. Uh, T Puff says Josh Allen is tweeting he's not happy in Jacksonville. Telling you, I'm telling you, if that opening presents itself, that Josh Allen wants out, wants to trade. If it, if we get a little bit of an opening, you gotta kick that door down. Like if that door is just a little open, you gotta kick it down. Get Josh Allen. Oh my gosh. Hell yes. I'm all about that. That's my that's my dream. That's my dream move. No doubt about it. That's my dream move. Allen battles are won and lost in the trenches. Uh, he then added 
the hashtag uh, check the tape. That might be a direct message to the GM Trent Balky, he who is mismanaged his contract extension. Interesting. So Alan quote, I see. I this is what I have. The only thing I have from the Allen is this, and I don't know what I'm looking at that I'm missing here. If there was something else, but I'm telling you, if if the Giants gave up a second and a fifth for Brian Burns, then the Eagles need to jump all over getting Josh Allen. And Josh Allen's, you can sign him right now, but you'd have to, you know, they'd have a chance to match. Uh, if the doors open at all, you got to get Josh Allen. You get Josh Allen, then 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 the whole Reddick thing, everything is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Yeah, Josh Allen from Jacksonville, not Josh Allen with the quarterback. We're not talking about the quarterback. I still don't want how he drafted because Jeffrey Lurie is the owner, never holds him accountable. That's true. I mean, you didn't hear anything from Lurie about the, what happened this past all season. He didn't say anything about Howie. Anything. D don't get it, King Lab. I don't know what that means. Uh, Hassan Reddick trade makes sense when we get the Jets' 10th pick. The Jets' 10th pick? What do you mean, 10th pick? Do you mean 10th pick overall? Like, or like in 10 years. I mean, that's a, it's a third round pick right now in 2026. That means this whole draft, we can't do anything about that trade, get nothing for it. Next year, you get nothing for it. It's going to be a long time before we get anything. I like Dallas Turner. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, let me see here. Whew. Oh, boy, I have to go back to work now. Oh, man. It's Two minutes to go. Got to go. NFL collusion is real? I'm sure. How he's done a great job the past two drafts. This thing's even. Let's just say he screws up this draft. Still, the owner, Lori, doesn't. Uh, Roseman should be held. Oh, yeah. Well, what if. What if. What if. Uh, I don't know. What if Reddick doesn't sign a contract this year? And he plays on the final year of his deal. And he goes, yeah, I have 17 sacks. Like, to me, why is he held responsible for that trade? You know? You're at work? Oh, man. Vic is going to get uh, his guys on defense. Yeah, I mean, he is. But in the meantime, use what you have. You know what I'm saying? Use what you have. Hanging with the boxer says, man, man, feel like, thank you, man. I appreciate that. You can see Reddick walking. Uh, he could definitely. Could definitely. All right, guys. Well, listen, I'm going to get out of here. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Um, like I said, I couldn't do a video tonight, this afternoon. Got a bunch going on. But uh, uh, I will see you guys probably tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be live. Probably won't be live tomorrow. Probably just have a couple videos. But. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, uh, Avante Maddox signs is back with the Eagles, and Jordan Milana signs an extension. So it's kind of where we're at. We will see what goes on, and keep an eye on on uh, our boy. Keep an eye on Josh Allen. If anything, if any door can open, we got to kick that mother humper down. With that said, I'm out of here. Peace. Plenty of time. Oh, oh shit! Dad! Oh, no! Dad. It's oh, over! Shit. It's over! This game is over! Cut it off! It's over! Fuck! I, I, Congratulations, Green Bay! Congratulations, Green Bay! Congratulations, Green Bay! I said run the ball. Congratulations, man. Green Bay! Dad Prescott, you need to be fired today! Mm. That was on you, Dad! That was on you, Dad! That was on you, Dad! I said run the ball. That was on Dad Prescott! Run the fantasy lamb! Try the fantasy lamb! You try the fantasy lamb! You got to give it to C Lamb! God! It's over! It's over, Dad! Put Trey Lance in the game!
Kailas can't do worse than you. I'm, a, I'm an idiot because I buy into this shit. I buy into this shit. Because here's the thing. I am a grown ass man. And I talk the talk. <sighs> it is killing me. I feel like it's going to take Judge Jones taking it. Cut it off. It's over.